Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today I'm going to answer a question by subscriber RB who asked me what type of trail mapping software do I use when I go off road, and uh, what's you know what what do I use to basically help me as far as software and mapping goes when I go off road. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Okay, as stated, today's question is, what type of mail uh, trail mapping software do I use when I go off-road? And I think it's interesting because I am not sure if everybody does it this way, and I'll just get straight to it. And what I mean by that is, generally speaking, when it comes to going off-road, I tend to not rely so much on technology such as mapping software, but instead, I tend to rely on, quote, reading the trail. Now, let me explain. First, by no means am I some sort of Boy Scout mapping commando. That's not what I'm saying here. <laughs> I do have a healthy respect for technology. But what I found is, when I go off-road, the first thing I want to do once I'm at the trailhead is actually to pay attention. And this, again, is not saying I don't rely on technology because the first thing I'll do when I pick a trail is look at, say, Google Maps. And I'll get an idea of how long the trail is, where it goes. If Google Maps doesn't show the trail after a certain point, I'll look at the satellite image and try to make it out and try to get a mental picture of this is what the trail looks like. This is how much Google Maps shows. This is how much I'm going to have to rely on the satellite image of literally looking at the road. And there is some guesswork and some, you know, risk involved because you don't know is, is the Google Maps accurate, is the satellite image accurate, is the trail still there. Anyway, when I get to the trail, most, most often than not, it does show up. Even the off-road trails on the stock Lexus GX mapping software, I don't know what they put there or how it updates, but it does show some trails. But this is my point. Once I start the trail, I rely most of all on literally looking at the road and the trail and quote real worlding it and what i mean by real worlding it is as i'm going down the trail pay attention and look and say what still looks like a trail you can see where other off-roaders have gone and beaten in a path that's presumably the trail cross check it with your maps your google maps whatever software you're using and say that's the trail now eventually you're going to reach a point where the Google Maps software or whatever nav software you're using doesn't match what you're seeing with your own two eyes. And in that case, I tend to default to my own two eyes and your intelligence versus the technology because the technology sometimes, of course, is, quote, janky or squirrely or it's just glitchy. So what I found is use your own two eyes, watch the trail as you're going down, and real world it. You see the beaten path, follow it. If the beaten path sometimes goes off this way or, or that way, see which one is more of a beaten path. See which one makes sense, so to speak. Now, how I got to this point is interesting, and I'll share real quickly to wrap it up the first time I went off-roading on a, quote, real trail. And I looked at a map on Google, and I, and I used the uh, software in the car, and I got to the trailhead, and I just started going. And it was very stressful. And this is, again, when I'm new to off-roading because I didn't know how to read a trail. And, of course, I got mixed up. I got turned around. I'm looking at the mapping software. It's not, it's showing me, you know, off the map, you know, off the trail, you know, whatever, 100 feet left or right. And it was very stressful because I'm looking at these maps for an answer. And I got through the trail eventually. But what helped more than anything get me through that particular first time trail off road was to just look and see which way the trail was going. So I feel that if you're new to off roading or, or moderate or whatever, you know, or even if you're advanced, take it back a step to the old school, how your off road ancestors did it before technology, before cell phones, before GPS, before SOS. 
They went off-road without all that, even back here, back in the day. And they went off-road and they had to rely on their senses. So I urge that you should rely on your senses first. Just look at it. Where is it going? Where is the trail going? And uh, follow that. And remember, no matter what, you're not flying a plane when you go off-roading. If for some reason you feel you're spun around, you don't have to keep going 100 or 200 miles an hour and pull a big 180 to turn around like an airplane. Just stop. Stop put it in reverse, turn around, and go back the way you came until you figure it out. But generally speaking, I will use mapping software, but I will always consider it to be glitchy and a supplement to the best resource, the best navigation tool, which is your eyes. After a while, you will learn to perceive the trail. That just comes with experience and getting out there and seeing what off-road trails look like. Okay, hold on a second. Just very important. I want to make sure that I'm not coming across in, in this video as I don't use maps. That's not what I'm saying. The first thing I'll do is use maps. All I use is regular Google Maps and um, the GPS map system in the Lex. I definitely use maps. I don't want to come across as, you know, some scout master and you just rely on your senses like I'm some scout sage. It's not what I'm saying. All I'm simply saying is after you get your maps, it's best to also just rely on your senses too. But definitely I use maps. I just want to make that clear. Google and Lexus map. Now there are some aftermarket maps that I have tried, but they're not accurate, at least around here. So what I always find again is that no matter what digital map you use, it will always, when you're on the trail, somehow be off or the trail won't be mapped or won't be mapped correctly. So you always have to be prepared to default to your own common senses. But I definitely use maps. Now, again, I'm speaking for out here in the desert and in the west. I don't know how they do it in Florida with the mud or anywhere else, so I can't speak on that. But out here in the western side of the country, generally speaking, after a while, you'll learn to, quote, read a trail. And for lack of a better word, it'll just all start falling into place. So I hope that helps. If, if anything I want you to take away from it is don't overthink it. Learn to actually see where others have gone before. That's the trail. That's the beaten path. And rely on that first and you supplement everything with your nav software as well. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please remember to uh, like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great, great day.